lane. The issues really come at like level three, level four. Once Shaker gets leveled, the lane gets more and more difficult. Roger up top taking a lot of harass. He doesn't have Shadow Realm. This is going to be a kill for KP who's got the movement speed advantage. Roger trying to juke in the trees. He tangos through. KP doesn't gets the first. first blood. And Pasha could not put it under the tower. Put no one on the back foot. So we'll catch you with a soul maiden here. She's uh, in some trouble, but she yeah. does go for a TP. It's really close. Ooh. And now he won't. But just going a 1 1 4 build, at least for now. I'm sure he'll get another enchant totem at 5, perhaps. He maybe just wants that longer stun duration from Aftershock. This is a build where when you get 6 with your Echo Slime, you can get more kills here. It gets a rotation from Dark Willow. He needs to. He's got a bottle too. Yeah, Willow's kind of blocking a bit here, but at the same time, both of these players are pretty slow. Goes for the Fissure block. Does he get it? He does. Great. Oh, yeah, he does. Wasn't sure for a second there. Great play from No One using that Ancient's area to line up the Fissure and get. He is still getting last hits, and he's got regen of plenty. Weevil's gonna find and run into these two supports. Looks to go for a kill here with the Beetle. Should be able to find at least one here. Goes on Faith first. Can he find the second one? No One out of mana. Maybe looking for a shrine of his own, which doesn't actually exist, so he needs a six minute rune. He's gonna be going down bottom where the action's unfolding. Weaver and PL fighting it out. Ramsey's got the edge here with the stick charges. He doesn't even need them. Kak under the tower does deal with the bug on him, but is still surrounded by the two VP supports. Solo and Roger block him in, cage him in the trees. Kaka out of escapes, even spotted by the thirst. And he gives some into there. You have a kind of mobility spell with Swashbuckle to get into position, but edge TP, they run away. Okay, you can't. You you've wasted your rotation. So you ro follow up. Didn't get the full-on fissure block here. Roger's going to go for the shadow realm hit. They need a ward. Going to get out the wave. We'll get okay. some vision in. Nicely done. That was great. Uh, then they save a ward. Don't have to use a ward for the vision. A little bug damage on Faith. He's very likely. Yeah. Yeah. Back at mid though, Roger has been caught by S Triple C. The curse crown gets dodged. Nicely done by S Triple C using the remnant. Can't out of safety range. The sentry's not going to spot this if he runs straight up. So, see if SC's oh, he's on the creep wave. Oh, there's the echo slam after the totem. Easy peasy, says VP no one, and takes to make sure that Phantom Lancer's lane is going okay. And then ideally, they can maybe harass Ramsey's too. But so yep. far, haven't seen that very much. Great stun here, though. This could be the fall if they need. He's going to get low. Will they get him? They do. Yeah, it's a big kill taking down the Weaver. Your Bloodseeker is already not having a good time, and now Weaver takes his spill as well. They do get the return kill on the Lion, but losing the Venge in the process here. You going on? I'm pretty even on gold right now, even though the kills do favor VP. Mid lane, going in on Shaker. Three man Fissure. Bramble Mesa followed up. Shaker, though, going to get deleted by KP with the Impetus. Says Triple C in some trouble here, so the Silence did land, and he just couldn't find a way out of there. KP's still throwing these big, chunking BOTs too, next. too, so it's maybe the more old style of BOTs. Okay. Yeah, we've seen, I feel like, a more of a trend towards going back to the treads and getting a bit tankier. PL. Ooh. Great Hex. This should yeah. be a kill, I think. If they get the they got the Impale to follow it up, and there's a Remnant. He's an S Triple C, making sure they get not just the PL. I feel like they need an Ench solution in, in some ways. Yeah. We've seen Enches just dominate these games. Faith at mid. Quick, easy pickoff. No one's Blink Dagger. But uh, mid lane Faith. We just saw him die here. I feel like this is round likely two. to happen again. Yep, round two. He does have a sentry. Vizha is there. Faith. Bloodride as well. Needs to get out of it. Has the beetle on him though, so Ramsey should be able to chase him down. Gemini Tech is there. There is a shrine being popped. Faith may be able to heal his way out of this one. No. And even the time lapse back as Finger gonna bring down no one here. Noopy rotating in with numbers, and this is working out great for them. Roger can't quite find the terrorizer. It looks like he may just have to leave Solo to die here. S Triple C, can he get the root off? On Enchantress. They would have to kill him sure. before he gets the Glimmer Cape off, like with an instant Blink Echo. Yeah, like they, could chain, they could chain Sun and burst him down. Oh, Terrorize is going to get some additional stun here. If they got the damage with the Echo Slam, they will. No one had to commit it, but at the Arcane Runes. Oh, no, the vision's gone. Very close. Kaka just TP'd into two enemy heroes at the shrine. They were there already waiting for him. That was his purchase on his cores, and that no matter what happens, they're pretty much just covered. Yeah, at top gonna go in looking for the the venge kill, and without a TP, Solo is actually just dead here. Well, that's a it's getting a bit greedy farming a lane, but hey, it's a five position venge. Sentry ward, so okay. if they've got detection, which they don't on Kaka. They have a sentry on the Crystal Maiden who's TPing in. No one's still under the sentry ward, so they get the root on him, and they should be able to burst him down here. The impale follow up. Uh, no, he's, he walked out, he's out of it. Out of there it is. They see him now. Okay, walks into it. <laughs> he walked out of it and back in, and they're just gonna blow everything, making sure they get the kill. It's a big one. Taking the tier one tower, so losing that hero just there definitely made things harder. And now they're all mid, hitting buildings. Yep. 
BP want this T2 tower, ramps through the nade, just kind of just frontlining here, blink in, impale Back finger on solo, that's not going to do anywhere near enough damage, with the terrorize back at mid, KP in trouble, Enchantress goes down, couldn't effectively use any of his items, didn't glimmer, drums or anything, Ember also dies in the mix, Ramses with both those kills, and Pasha even finishing off Faith at the end, yes. very nicely done by, yeah. Ter a well used terrorize can just be one of the best disables in the game. Radiant are scanning. That's definitely what separates, you know, the, the good willows from the great ones. Yeah. We'll see Solo get picked <laughs> off there. It's absolutely true. He really wants to abuse all these bottle charges. He's got to wait Back for that. Back at top to bounty rune, it's going to be PL. In some trouble here. Doppelganger, but still has the beetle and needs to kill it off. Does have the illusions to do so quickly. Moogie going to turn and fight. Wants to go on Pasha. He's BKB'd up. Moogie just holding his grounds here. Still fairly healthy as he does, once again, look for another doppelganger away. Lion's already gone down here. He's being chased a little bit further. No one. He's got a Yule Scepter here. Can he find a way to get onto Moogie? Another doppelganger in a couple of seconds. Gets to the low ground. Does he go for the TP? Doesn't think he can do it. No fissure available. Moogie's juking with the illusion, but he just kills the real one. Oh, they were not fooled. Fade him. I assume that was Ember Spirit jumping back, yeah. if I had to guess. Right. Or they just really didn't like those little, little hard beasts, dude. <laughs> Jump in, oh, looking for a kick of that. Yes, there we go. PKB comes up just in time from Pasha. Great terrorize once again. Kaka goes down and Moogie's back in. Solo gets Great. cleaned up. CM ulti. Jump in. Oh. Long camp. There's always a window to use your fire remnant as an ember. Oh, Pasha blinking forward. Looks yeah. like they want to fight. VP is the more root here. KP just running through the rupture with the Aeon disc. and That was really useful, actually. Yeah. Two whole seconds of, of gap escape here. And now fine. Maybe not great against ember, but... Uh, perhaps, oh, yeah, it's, it's something at least. Yeah, they get the sun in the Shadow Realm. He's going for a Terrorized Doppelganger is there. Make sure he doesn't get caught by it, and Mugi will finish off the kill. But here comes Ramses, wanting that Kaka line. He's not got anything defensive to help him out there. No Ghost Scepters, Force Staffs, Glimmer Caves, whatever it may be. He needs something at some point against this Weaver, but only able to farm up a Blink so far. Rupture going to catch KP. Once again, just runs on out with the Aeon Disc. He just keeps on running. Glimmer Cape. No TP, they have a vague idea of where he is though, and KP swapped out. Rupture actually wore off, so he didn't take damage from the swap, but they'll still get the kill. H2 blink hex the ember, he will not be able to fire Remnant out oh, when it's in trouble here. He doesn't actually have a TP. Oh my. And he's got caught by the Beetle too, so they know which one's real. Impale will land, the Terrorize follows it up, the root Moogie, oh no. Might get a dispel. Okay, Yules. Doesn't hit the Curse Crown, he actually really? messes up. I think the Curse Crown, he wanted to try and make sure it lands, but instead the Yules threw him up in the air, and Mookie's still alive, has the heart for a lot of extra health here. They chase down, bring down the Enchantress here, another Yule Scepter coming out. They really want Mookie's PL. They caught him with the Totem as he landed, and they kill him without buyback. Oh my, that is bad news, and the Weaver kill is not going to matter too much for VP, because they've got an Aegis on him. He's going to be respawning momentarily, and they could look to continue the push off of this. Kaka is just playing next level. Big time for BP to do this maneuver. Yep. BKB, right he's just going to go straight for the tower. Actually finds a new target in the lion, but with the ghost scepter, he can't finish off the kill. T3 claim, they get the stuns coming out. Lion gets two shotted by a fissure into totem. And Weaver forced to be swapped away. He doesn't. They actually are. They have no sentries? Is this real? Yeah, no one's buying ops. No one's buying sentries. I'm just, you know, it's like they want to challenge themselves in some ways here. Well, they get the fissure block down. Kaka is in the middle of nowhere. Very dead hero. He's in trouble. It's a sacrifice. Yep. Nubia are going to cut their losses and back out. They hit the melee racks here. No glyph. Not the longest of cooldowns. 60 seconds without the terrorize though, and they feel like they just need to prioritize buildings. And okay. Right. Focus down, brought back. Weaver needs to be careful. No timeless does it. BKB has to pop it immediately. Does do so. Is he going to finish the racks or is he going to go for the heroes? Takes the melee racks. Forward goes the Earthshaker. Refreshes as well. Use one Echo Slime. Has a second if he needs it. PL is there, but the problem is this PL is going to push him back and it's Earthshaker. Getting very low in the process. Solo doing what he can, but he's going to go down as well as Roger. The chase is on. Ember fought back. He goes straight into a hex. He doesn't have the A on this. S triple C. Oh no. What are you thinking? And right on Q. Right. Somewhat under control. And then find the one and address the ones that are. Newbie might get caught here. They are yeah, moving they're... across the map. They've got one so good spot. They got vision. Great stun from Kaka though. Catches both supports. And immediately the impediment should finish off the bench here. The terrorize comes out. Lion goes down here. But the rest of the newbie side in OK shape until the Echo Plant oh, comes out on the PL. The PL will get completely destroyed by this. Has buyback, but 
Doesn't want to just throw it away immediately as KP will get finished off as well. That's a gem and new percent more vision at nighttime. And they're yeah. going to find Solo actually. This looks pretty bad for him, but his okay. whole team's here. KP gets the Hurricane Pike, pushes him back. There's going to be the Blink Echo Slam coming out, catches two Kaka. Aeon Disproc, so keeps him alive a little bit longer. Just trying to use all his spells before he goes down. Succeeds in doing so. The PL needs to get in there, does get on top of the Venge. Solo getting very low here. There's no more Echo Slam to deal with his panel lines. So illusions absolutely everywhere. Movie, Ooh, luckily, his DD's one off the no one vision catches a lot. Now comes out the Hex. They've caught the PL. He's hexed up. He's got no escape. He's dead, as is the Enchantress. The buyback from SCCC is nice, but it's too little too late. They've lost their cause, and they do. Some the ganking items are also just better. Yep. So it's like you have to just file these items that mean that you don't scale damage wise. You're kind of like a utility guy, and they just, he just never really was able to contribute enough.